Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. I'm Brian Moritz and today I get to walk you in and around a 2021 Newmar London Air 4551. So brand new coach, one of the very few that we have on the ground and available, um, just ready for a new home. So just a couple things while you guys kind of panned out and away from the coach. Do notice that it has the Gerard Nova awning package. So you actually have two awnings, uh, two awnings on your patio. I'm gonna put one of them in just so you can see the separation there. So as that one closes up, you can see back in the back, we still have another awning, but those two awnings run the full length of this motorhome. Um, you just saw me control them from down underneath but you can also control them either by the remote that the, this coach comes with or by the remote inside of the motorhome. Uh, just while we're talking about awnings, you also have an entrance awning right above the entrance door. So if it's a little rainy outside, you can uh, leave that out. That way you have a nice pl dry place, wipe your feet off before you head in. And then also part of that Gerard Nova awning package, you have window awnings on both your passenger and driver's side on the big windows uh, just to keep the sun off the coach to keep it a little bit cooler inside. Those windows are thermal pane uh, tinted windows, so dual pane tinted, tinted windows, keep it a little bit warmer in the winter and cooler in the summer. And it also uh, keeps the sunlight out just a little bit with the tint. Down below the windows, 32 inch Samsung HD TV with a Bose Solo 7 soundbar. You also have two 110 volt outlets in this compartment, as well as two USB ports for plugging in or charging your phones, your iPad, tablet, whatever you got. Newmar London Air does come standard with full body paint, so you're not gonna see any stickers or graphics, just pure paint. Down in this first compartment here, we have a Dometic refrigerator freezer combo. This is the new one that comes with dual compartments. So you can open one lid or two lids, but the cool thing is you can change, or in each compartment you can have a different temperature. So you can have one as a freezer, one as a refrigerator. There's also a Bluetooth app that, come, or that you can get for this freezer. So you can change the temperature while you're not directly in it. And that refrigerator is powered by both 12 volt and 110 volt electricity, just depending on what you have for a power source. You can see the two plugs up there. Coming back one bay, 26, by, uh, 26 inches by 90 inches, a power tray. So push the button, it'll come out 60% either direction. I'm gonna put that one back in there. And then new for 2021, they're also adding shelves up above in these storage units, or in these storage compartments, just to optimize your storage a little bit better. Back one more, this tray here, also power. 46 inches wide by 90 inches long. Push the button, it comes out. Sitting on that tray right now, you see the uh, extra tiles for your tile floor on the inside, which we'll get to. Another shelf up the, up the top there. And then over on that left side, you see some AV equipment. That's just for text use. You don't really have to do anything with it. Back one more. Your only manual tray on this motorhome, it's, a 43, it's 43 inches wide by 56 inches deep. Back behind that is going to be your uh, heat, so it can't go all the way through. A couple other things for those of you who like to do work yourself. Right here is going to be your uh, camera controller, your silver leaf controller, awning controllers, all of that. If you know how to work on it, you can do it yourself. It's nice and accessible. Also, up in this right corner is the controller for your central vacuum system, where you'll change out your filters, do that kind of stuff. Back one bay. So just a little pegboard here, some tools. You have trays in there, keep a couple extra quarts of oil, maybe an extra fuel filter, oil filter, uh, anything you might need. They have kind of a nice storage compartment here uh, specifically designed for that. Back behind the axles, this compartment is just gonna contain your 15 gallon DEF tank. And then there's also little air nozzles in here. So if I unscrew this really quick. That's actually an air inflator valve for your airbags. 
in an emergency situation, you needed to get it off the road, um, lost air pressure for some reason, you can absolutely fill it up right there just so you can move it. Back behind that one, two chassis batteries. Those are primarily used for starting your engine. Also, two master fuses there, 150 amp breakers, uh, just for, you know, like storage. When you put your coach into storage, you can cut those off, cut the draw on your batteries so that they don't, aren't dead the next time you go to use it. Back in the very back, first thing, full fiberglass rear cap. Down in this engine compartment here, we do have a 15 liter Cummins ISX putting out 605 horsepower, 1,950 foot-pounds of torque. So lots of power, uh, 44 foot, 10 inch motorhome. So you get a little more power with the bigger coaches. Up top here, I don't know if anyone's ever touched on this before, but that's your block heater. So it does have its own separate outlet in here. Just plug it in and unplug it as needed. The only stipulation of this is it needs to be plugged in or have the generator running for that block heater to work. And you really only need it if you're in really cold weather, which isn't where you want to take this motor home anyways. Backup camera up top there. Now that camera is pretty cool because you can change the angle that you're viewing it at. So if you're trying to hook up a trailer, uh, you can look directly at the hitch. If you want to see a little farther back, you also can look at that. It is a full color HD camera. Down below, two and a half inch receiver with a 20,000 pound towing capacity and a 2,000 pound vertical weight capacity. This coach is also camera prepped for a stacker trailer. So if you have a stacker trailer that has a camera on the back, you can just plug it in there and you'll have your cameras. Seven pin connector if you just have a standard trailer or you're towing your car, usually we use a seven pin to six pin connector for that. And then the, this is just the airline for if you put an Air Force One system or a braking system on a vehicle that needs an airline, it's there ready to go for you so you don't have to go add things to this motorhome to tow a vehicle. So side down a radiator here, directly behind that is going to be your transmission cooler as well as your turbo cooler. Keep everything nice and cool, uh, especially in these mountain areas where you're going to be a little higher RPM most of the time. Dual side DEF tank, again that feeds directly into your main 15 gallon DEF tank. Over here just a little bit of storage for a hose uh, for your gray and black water. So one thing I kind of want to point out that I never really talk about, um, I talk about the air leveling system when we get in the chassis, but right now we have kind of a cool view because I have it parked in a ditch a little bit. But look at the gap between these tires, and that's just purely off of the airbag. So this coach is fully leveled out. You can see the jacks are fully lifted up, but I use the airbag system to raise up this side of the coach to level it out. Forward one bay here or the first bay we're gonna look at on the driver's side. The water bay on our Newmar, they redid it. It looks amazing with the stainless steel. Up here we do have the values of your gray, fresh, fresh gray and black tank, as well as you can turn your pump on or fill your tank in this compartment. Hot and cold outside shower. Your water hose is connected so you don't have to carry an extra one. Pull it out, push the button, it'll suck it back in there for you. Makes it really easy and clean. Sewage rinse for your black tank gravity dump for your gray and black tank and you also have a macerator on this coach uh, so that will actually be a pump to pump out your gray and black tank very handy if the dump station isn't on a level uh, ground forward one more of that bay 50 amp power cord on a power reel now that's a 50 foot cord so pull it out when you're ready, push the button, it takes it back in there for you. There is a little indicator light on this plug so you know you have power when you plug it in. Uh, most important thing I see in this bay that I think is really cool, right here we have a buddy plug we call it. So that's a 30 amp connector. So if you're with a friend, your kids who have you know a smaller trailer, something that can't survive off the grid like this motorhome can, um, you can actually plug into them and use the power from your 12,500 watt Onan diesel generator to power their unit. Forward one bay Oasis hydronic heating system. 
So that's going to provide you hot water, continuous hot water, as well as heat, a 50,000 BTU furnace built into that, burning diesel fuel rather than propane. This is an all electric coach, no propane at all. So you got to use diesel to heat it. And then back over here, the other side of your 40 by 90 pass through tray, power from this side as well. Now I'm going to put it back that way. I'm not going to release the switch, but the tray automatically stops. So you don't have to worry about pushing it through that door on accident, the other side. And then your 26 by 90 tray, again, power on this side, push the button, it comes in, goes out. Last bay on the driver's side, eight six volt AGM house batteries, 800 amp hours total of battery power. Now this coach does have the option on it for four sun-free solar panels just to keep those batteries nice and charged while you're kind of off the grid. So up top there, you'll see that window awning again to keep the sun out of this motorhome, keep you cooler. Now on top of this motorhome, you do have three 15,000 BTU air conditionings to keep you cool in the summer. And those also have heat pumps in them so you can keep it warm during the winter as well. Up behind this front cap, it is a hydraulic slide front cap. Uh, you do have an owning quiet diesel 12,500 watt generator that pulls directly off of your uh, main 150 gallon diesel tank. One thing I did miss is you do have dual side diesel tank fuel fill, diesel fills on this coach. So you can fill it from both the driver and passenger side. If you go to a truck stop, they do have the big opening so you can use the big nozzles so it doesn't take you so long. 150 gallons of fuel takes a couple minutes at least. While we're up front here, the stock number to this unit is 5N201184. Again, 2021 Newmar London Air 4551. So, um, this coach is also equipped with a 360 camera. So up top there, you can see another camera above the uh, windshield. So that one's gonna kind of look down. So if you're you know, pulling into a tight space and just wanna see the very front of your motorhome, you can use that camera up there. And I think that pretty much wraps up the outside of it. We'll head inside and look around. Uh, one thing I do wanna note, the new Mar London Air does come with the HWH hydraulic three-step stair. So you can see right there, it's maybe an inch off the ground. So for you people, who can't lift your foot up six, seven inches, this would be a great option for you. So welcome inside the 2021 Newmar La London Air. Uh, so just to get this out of the way. This is wicker glazed maple on the cabinets and the decor package, which you probably won't see very well, is Paxton. So that's gonna be your pillows, your wall, uh, wall coverings, things like that. So um, first thing I want to kind of talk about because I don't ever touch enough on it in my videos, right to the inside of the door here is your first of eight of these screens. So these screens integrate directly with your silver leaf system. From here we control, control your lights. So you have master light on, master light off. You can also control them individually, bathroom, bedroom, accents, all that stuff. Your power shades. So let's just hit kitchen and living room nightshades. And now all these shades come down. This is your blackout shades, you know, your privacy shades. They also work great, you know, if it's daytime, you had a late night, you want to sit and watch movies. Uh, they work great for that as well. Just keep the sun out of you or out of here. And then push them again and they'll retract. Fans. So you have three fans in here. You have one in the kitchen, one in the master bathroom, and one in the half bathroom. You can control all of them from this screen right here. You can control them from any of the eight screens in this motorhome. Also, your TV lift can be controlled right here, as well as turning your water pump on and on. And then you can just change the display brightness. Uh, but like I said, eight of those panels, and that doesn't include the main silver leaf panels, which there's two of, so we'll get to those as well. I hit the TV lift up button, so you'll see a 50 inch Samsung HD TV. 
Coupled with that TV, this motorhome has a WineGuard Traveler as well as an RTT20B, which is an in-motion satellite. So you have two options for satellites in this motorhome, uh, just depending on what you're doing. If you got you know, the kids, grandkids with you, you can leave on that in-motion satellite so they can watch TV while you're going down the road. Up above the TV, great storage cabinets. Your AV compartment, so that's where you're gonna connect uh, your receivers for that, those two satellites. Another good storage compartment here. And then down below that, your sleeper sofa. So this will be a pull out hide a bed uh, with an air mattress built into it. Now that air mattress does have a pump built into it as well. You can plug it in on either side of the couch, but that pump also has a deflator valve. So you can turn it, uh, turn it the opposite way and suck the air out of it. So you don't have to deal with, you know, rolling it up and fighting an air mattress. Coming into the kitchen, Great storage, little spice rack up top here. Over in this compart er, cabinet, adjustable shelves. Notice this is carpet lined so things aren't gonna slide around and rattle while you're driving down the road. And that's every cabinet in here. Whirlpool convection microwave oven. So it's a microwave, it also acts as a convection oven. Another big uh, cabinet here. This one has a little pull out drawer just to make the things you store in there more accessible. Another shelf up top here, carpet lined. It is adjustable again, so you can move it up and down as needed. And then one more cabinet, two shelves you can also adjust. Down below that, solid surface countertop. Two really nice and big sink covers. Two bowl sink. So you could have a bowl of soapy water, your dishes in here. And then, just to the left of that, two burner, true induction cooktop. One thing Newmar does that I love is puts cutting boards on the bottom side of your sink covers. Just little things. Two burner, true induction cooktop. So uh, you just need an induction capable pan and you can boil water in about a minute and a half. It's crazy. And then if you want to cook outside, just go ahead and pull that out. There's just a 110 volt plug back there. Unplug it, take it outside, plug it into one of the outlets on the outside, and you're cooking outside. Put that back away. Over towards the front of the kitchen, we do have a little countertop extension matching, uh, matching countertop just to make it look good. Three really nice big drawers. Going all the way down that, push the button, push it away. So right now we've got all our remotes in this drawer, but this is a great silverware drawer. Uh, maybe some towels in the back here, or you can keep all your remotes in there if that's kind of your style. Down below that, it's not gonna work right now because I'm not plugged in and I don't have a generator on, but we do have a Fisher & Paykel uh, dishwasher. And then coming across here, little pull-out drawer there for a trash can. One thing people always complain about is not having room for a trash can. And then another nice pull-out drawer. Again, making accessing your stored things much easier. Great knife drawer, you know, spoons, pasta spoon, that kind of stuff. And then another one. And just a small cabinet there. So moving over to the driver, the off-door side of the motorhome. This one is equipped with the theater seating. So that was an option for the 2021 Newmar London Air. I really like these seats. They do lean all the way back. So need be, you could have someone sleep there, but they're just really nice plush seats. They are Villa. So all Villa furniture in this coach. Big storage down here in the middle between your cup holders. Great for board games, magazines, deck of cards, that kind of stuff. Little pull drawer there, just to optimize the storage a little bit more. All the way across the top of this off door side, we have cabinets, nice and deep, carpet lined to keep your rattles and your moving mint down. And then this booth is equipped, or this coach is equipped with the table and chairs with the, or with the buffet. So really like this option. 
can pull the table out. You can seat four people here. There's two more chairs that match this decor back in the back. But you can have a clean table here. You know, you could have, if you have four people, four plates and four drinks. All your food serving dishes can be up on the buffet there, out of the way. And then inside of this buffet, you get an additional couple drawers as well as a cabinet down here. So in the past, I've seen people put small printers, that kind of stuff in here, uh, just where it's out of the way and concealed. Over on this side, a little computer desk that pulls out. And then another nice deep cabinet there. Now there's also, way in the back there, there's two 110 volt outlets. So if you had, you know, your computer docking station, that kind of stuff, there is a hole up here where you can run those cords through this buffet. So you don't have to dig them out every time you want to use it. And then you also have two 110 volt outlets over closer to the front. Yeah, keep wrapping around there and we'll get there. <laughs> So, um, and there's two USB chargers on that outlet as well. There we go, now we can see them. So nice and concealed, but they're there for you. Coming back, we have a 19.7 cubic foot Whirlpool residential refrigerator. Again, I'm not plugged in. I don't have this generator running. You can see that the fridge is on, the lights are on. Um, it is cooling in here as well down underneath here you have a couple different sliding trays in there you know if you got milk big things of juice that kind of stuff just to give you extra room down below the freezer with an ice maker built into it and then Newmar does this very subtle lock right here so now it's not going to open up while you're driving down the road and then last thing from the kitchen huge pantry Again, adjustable shelves all the way up and down. You can move the height as you need. They went, in 2021, they went away from the old locking mechanism and now they have a push to release. Pull that out and then once you get it back in there, you'll feel it's kind of spring loaded there. Push it in and it's locked. So they used to do that little push button thing and it didn't work so great. So now we have that. Uh, and another thing you saw the pantry light, it does come on automatically as soon as you open those doors. Coming back just a little bit, we do have a half bath on this coach. So just a nice little vanity mirror upset, upstairs, or up in that cabinet. There is gonna be some circuit breakers and fuses. Down below, we do have an electric flush toilet, as well as the controls for your central vacuum. So those two little black squares you see there, rectangles. Uh, that's going to be where you plug your hose in. You can also sweep the dirt just directly up to that central vac, kick it on, and it'll uh, it'll suck all the dirt out for you. Uh, coming back into the master bedroom, first thing you're going to see is a king radius corner bed. So they did the radius corner just so when you're walking around this side, it's a little bit easier. Storage up above there. Total of four cabinets, two 110 volt outlets in there. And then down underneath here, you do have general coach control, so you can turn your lights on and off, start your generator, that kind of stuff from back here in the bed without having to go to the front of the coach. Coming around over to the off door side, six very nice drawers along here as kind of a dresser wardrobe area. They are all quiet clothes. And then two cabinets here. This one's going to have your AV equipment. Again, you can plug in your satellites back here. So you could have one thing going on this TV, another thing going on the front TVs. Your first, well, one of your two silver leaf panels also back here. So you don't have to leave this bedroom to control anything on this motorhome. So we can look at our power sources. We can start and stop the generator. We can unlock and lock the doors, turn on the heater and the floor. Uh, pretty much anything we need to do, we can do it from right here. So just a great convenience feature there. Coming back into the master bathroom.
huge, re huge residential style shower with tile uh, walls and floor. You see this shampoo, conditioner, and body wash bottles there on the wall so you don't have to have extra bottles. This shower also is equipped with a little stool. So you get tired of standing up, you can have a seat. Now this also has an aquamizer system which uh, essentially recirculates the water, the water in the lines into the freshwater tank just to make sure once you start that shower you have hot water. That's part of that on-demand water system, hot water system. Back here, another Dometic electric flush toilet and then an emergency escape door just in case you ever needed to egress out of the back, fire in the front, that kind of thing. It does lock both ways, or two ways, there's a handle lock as well as a deadbolt. And then the ever so beautiful cedar line closet in the back of your motorhome. So you see this one does have shelving for shoes, cedar lined walls help you keep the moisture out of it, odors down, and then hanging storage all the way across. We'll open this side up so you can see it as well. A little safe back there and then over on the off door side there is extra shelving. More than enough room for all the stuff you need for when you're camping or living in it. In this master bathroom, also nice little medicine cabinet here. There's two 110 volt outlets way in the back of it there. Dual residential style sinks so you get gravity sinks. Just, you know, gives it a little bit higher end touch. Makes it feel very nice. One of my favorite things about this bathroom is the inlaid mirrors inside of the lights just really kind of cool gives you a very nice high-end residential feel more storage down underneath two cabinets and then four drawers in your master bath toothbrushes hair accessories whatever you need there's plenty of room back here for it and last but not least inside of this master bath splendid stacked washer and dryer so you don't ever have to leave the motor home to clean your clothes up. Whoop. So a couple things I missed I didn't really talk about. Uh, fresh water capacity on this motor home is 105 gallons. Gray water capacity is 80 gallons. And uh, black water capacity, your sewage tank, is 60 gallons. So plenty of water, especially for you off-grid type of people. Um, that gives you a long time that you could be off or out there. So we'll go over just a few things in the cab before we wrap it up. Now this is built on a Spartan K3 chassis. Actually, I'm just going to fire it up and make it easy. So push to start. Actually, you know what? I don't know if I've ever talked about this. So the push to start on the Spartan chassis is pretty cool. So right now you see that it's yellow. That just means that the key is in the vicinity and able to work or able to, you know, put it in accessory mode. Once I step on the brake, it goes to green. I gotta get the key a little bit closer here. So it goes to green. So now I know it's good to start. So just push and hold it. You'll hear it start crank or feel it start cranking and then it just fires up. Give it just a second here to go through its startup uh, startup things. So over on my left side, we have our HWH hydraulic leveling that controls right here. So when you get to your campground, all you need to do is press auto level it'll do its thing using both the airbags as well as the hydraulic jacks underneath to level this motorhome out. Touchpad for your Allison 4000 mh transmission. So that's a six speed automatic transmission. Here's how you can dump your tag axle. You really don't need to unless you're in a situation where you need extra tra traction on your drive axle. Engine brake on and off. Engine brake high, medium and low just depending on where you are, where you are and what you're doing and how much brake assist you need. Over on this side of the steering wheel, Light controls, one thing I really like that they put into them in 2021s is automatic headlights. Parking brake, a button to uh, dim and bright your dash. Traction control, power window over on this driver's side. So if you need to pull into a toll, throw some change out the window. Air horn control, battery boost, pedal adjustment. So you do have power uh, gas and brake pedals. Power mirrors on both sides. Now these mirrors are also heated. So if it's a cold foggy day, Turn that mirror heater on and it'll clean them up. The control for your Kurt integrated brake controller. 
So for those of you who are pulling trailers that have trailer brakes, you have a brake controller right here. Uh, we'll teach you how to use it when you pick it up. And then over in the middle, we do have an LCD dash. I'm just gonna hit the home button. There's a couple things in here. Right here, I'm in my air leveling screen. So I can set this a couple different ways, auto level, high ride, low ride. Um, so auto level is if you're stopping for the night and you just want to sleep for a little bit, don't want to drop your jacks, you can auto level it that way. It's also best to auto level using the airbags prior to fueling. High ride, uh, that's your highway ride, um, essentially. And then low ride, if you're just backing it into a, your storage facility, you need to lower it down just a little bit, you can absolutely do that using this uh, Hadley system or that air leveling system. Whoop, there's my, uh, <laughs> it's kind of cool actually. This is actually showing me how level I am on the motorhome. So that's really interesting. So you'll see I'm a little bit off level right now, but I did that when I opened the screen. So that's kind of cool. Well, now how do I get out of it? All right, well, the other thing you can do here is we can control our comfort drive steering, which is a Newmar uh new more installed item so what that's going to do is adjust how much torque it takes to turn this steering wheel so on big tires it does take quite a bit of power to turn a steering wheel but the comfort comfort drive assists with that it also helps with mitigating wind while you're driving down the road over on the right side of the screen two screens here this one's going to be your radio your navigation over here just a dedicated camera screen so if i turn on my left blinker it'll show us the left side of this motorhome and then we can also use Sirius XM, AM, FM, Bluetooth, uh, all that just right here on this left side. Now also fully integrated with that, those two screens is gonna be over on the passenger side. So from this passenger side, I have my navigation pulled up right now. I can actually set the address, I can set the radio, um, whatever I need, or whatever the driver needs assistance with concerning those two screens, you can actually do from right here in the passenger seat. So this is a really awesome little system here that Newmar's putting in them. Oh, well, I think that pretty much wraps up uh, this 2021 Newmar London Air 4551. Again, I'm Brian Moritz with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. If you have any questions about this unit or any other unit in my inventory, feel free to give me a call, 303-482-6375. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next week.